I'm telling you, I, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what happened. It's got to be fixed. I know it does. Oh, God, who's the door? This time I did. Uh, okay. Bernie Sanders? Uh, normally, but today, I'm Super Burn. Super Burn, strange Jew from New England. And his guise as Bernie Sanders, everyday senator from the United States Congress, he fights for truth. Justice and affordable education. But when the need arises, he will become Super Burn. Faster than a special interest, more powerful than a trade union, able to bust partisan gridlock in a single bill. So, is there something broken? Our computer won't turn on. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, I think I know what to do. Well, here's your problem you got some pretty carnivorous malware on here. So what I'm doing is I'm booting it into safe mode, I'm going to clear out your boot sector, and I'm installing Linux. Linux? Yes, it's a free and open source operating system. It's owned by no one. The big software companies, your Microsofts and Googles, they don't want you to know about it. But they are actually what's stifling innovation in America today. Uh, Linux. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, it looks like you picked up something nasty from... Uh, EroticFriendFiction.net. What? What is that? Have a good day and uh, good luck to you with everything else. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember the vote. These software mega giant companies—they don't care about the memory and your hard drive space. Ninety-eight percent of the pre-installed applications on Windows are completely pointless. You'll never use them. It's time that we cut out the pork barrel shovelware and invest in free and open source solutions to everyone, everyday Americans' software woes. Hi, Ann. How'd you like to watch Nurse Jackie? Mm hmm. Two yeah. times. Yeah, okay. Hellboy? Oh She's sci fi. How, how about we watch that Orange is the New Black? Oh, I haven't seen that one. Huh. Stop right there! Bernie Sanders! Actually, today it's a super burn. Look, Orange is the New Black shows a biased and completely unrealistic view of America's corrupt penal system. Let, let, me, let me see that, uh, son. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay, what you want to watch is Bob's Burgers. It's an American tale of a blue-collar chef, hard-working. He, he's kicked out of the middle class by his 1% landlord. And the kids are just precious, especially that Louise. But look, you folks have a good night and uh, enjoy your Netflix and chill. Bob's burger sounds great. Thank you, Thank Super Burn. Oh, no problem. Remember to vote. You see, Mr. Fish Oda represents the 1%. And he has colluded with government in the form of Hugo, the health inspector. They use regulatory capture to keep Bob, the small-time business owner, down. Under my government, we will rein in the 1% and the fish odors of the world so that everyone can achieve the American dream, even the Belcher family. Hi, honey. What is this? What? What is this? This so it's a little dirty. I mean, did you even try? Of course I tried. I Hold it try. right there. <gasps> Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Sanders. Actually, it's Super Barn. I fought my entire life for the equality of women, and I will not have you turn us back to the Stone Age. What are you gonna do about it, old man? Oh, I got something for you, buddy. So you see, with just a liberal application of lemon juice and some seltzer water, you can get rid of that stubborn ring around the collar, thus freeing up your wife to pursue other interests outside of the home, like a career or any number of fulfilling hobbies. Now I know. Thanks, Super Burn. And knowing saves the union. Here you go, son. Remember to vote! I've always fought for equality. Gloria Steinem made me an honorary woman. And I am committed to keeping the government out of my honorary uterus. And the uterus of all of the women of America. Choose the water! Oh! Um, I, oh, uh, uh, I will call you an ambulance. <coughs> we need to keep healthcare affordable. We are currently 37th in the world. 
and 300,072 in the galaxy. We're behind Scarro and Kronos. And I will not let American healthcare fall behind the Daleks. I don't know where he came from. How should I know how he got in the garage? Yeah, I know the mower was out of gas, but he converted it to biodiesel in the front yard. I don't know how. I know it's raining too. The man is committed. I believe in an equitable distribution of resources in this country. The inequality that we have between the top 1% and the lower 99 is absolutely ridiculous and un-American. 1% of the dogs should not control 99% of the dog treats. You need to distribute them fairly among the pack. Every dog should get his or her fair share of the dog treats. That is better for everyone this way. This is the America that I believe in for our dogs and puppies and our future. And he's off! Superbird! Off to new adventures, righting the wrongs, correcting the injustices, helping with homework! Superbird! Where will he go next?